Hello, welcome back. Today we will study an important superficial extrinsic muscle of the back, the latissimus dorsi muscle. So the latissimus dorsi muscle is this large fan shaped muscle and this muscle is partially covered by the trapezius muscle as you can see in this model. The latissimus dorsi muscle is a superficial extrinsic muscle of the back and this muscle is anatomically a muscle of the back while functionally this is a muscle of the upper limb. The latissimus dorsi muscle has a wide range of origin. This muscle originates from the spinous processes of the lower six thoracic vertebrae from level T7 to T12. This muscle also originates from the lumbar vertebrae and sacrum through the thoracolumbar fascia from the iliac crest, the inferior angle of the scapula and the external surfaces of the lower three or four ribs as you can see. There may be anatomical variation in the origin of this muscle. So this muscle may originate from as little as four to as many as eight thoracic vertebral spinous processes. Also, there may be variation in the costal origin of this muscle. And this muscle may or may not originate from the iliac crest. After their origin from different areas, the fibers of the latissimus dorsi muscle converge superolaterally to form a single flat tendon. This tendon of insertion passes anterior to the teres major muscle just before its insertion into the proximal part of the humerus. And after passing anterior to the teres major muscle, this flat tendon then inserts into the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus, as you can see. The tendon of latissimus dorsi muscle inserts into the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus between the teres major muscle and the pectoralis major muscle. The pectoralis major muscle inserts on the lateral lip of the intertubercular groove just lateral to the latissimus dorsi muscle while the teres major muscle inserts on the medial lip of the intertubercular groove, just medial to the latissimus dorsi muscle. Now let's discuss the nerve supply of the latissimus dorsi muscle. So this muscle is supplied by the thoracodorsal nerve, which originates from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus with nerve roots C6, C7 and C8. Now if we study a little about the arterial supply or the vascular supply of the latissimus dorsi muscle, so you can see that this artery, the thoracodorsal artery supplies this muscle. The thoracodorsal artery originates from the subscapular artery which then arises from the third part of the axillary artery. Some other arterial branches such as the dorsal branches of the first three lumbar and the 9th, 10th and 11th posterior intercostal arteries also supply this muscle. Now let's look at the actions performed by the latissimus dorsi muscle. So the latissimus dorsi muscle performs a wide range of functions. One of these functions performed by this muscle is the scapula adduction also known as shoulder retraction. The latissimus dorsi muscle performs this action of scapula adduction by acting on the inferior angle of the scapula. As you can see, when this muscle contracts, it acts on the inferior angle of the scapula and adducts the scapula. Another action performed by the latissimus dorsi muscle is the shoulder depression. So just like the shoulder retraction, the latissimus dorsi muscle acts again on the inferior angle of the scapula and draws the scapula downward. This action performed by the latissimus dorsi muscle is known as the shoulder depression. When the latissimus dorsi muscle acts through its flat tendon of insertion, then this muscle medially rotates the arm. As you can see, when this muscle contracts, it acts through its flat tendon of insertion on the proximal part of the humerus 
and in this way this muscle medially rotates the arm as you can see and the fourth action which we will discuss performed by the latissimus dorsi muscle is the shoulder adduction so you can see when this muscle contracts it acts on the proximal part of the humerus and draws the humerus towards the thorax decreasing the angle between the arm and the thorax and in this way this muscle performs shoulder adduction as you can see and the last action which we are going to discuss performed by the latissimus dorsi muscle is the shoulder extension so on contraction this muscle acts on the proximal part of the humerus and extends the arm the triceps muscle also assists the latissimus dorsi muscle in this action now let's review the important points which we have studied in this tutorial about this muscle so this muscle originates from the spinous processes of lower six thoracic vertebrae from lumbar vertebrae and sacrum through the thoracolumbar fascia from the iliac crest the inferior angle of the scapula and the external surfaces of the lower three to four ribs and this muscle inserts in the floor of the intertubercular groove of the humerus this muscle is innervated by the thoracodorsal nerve the vascular supply of this muscle so this muscle is supplied by the thoracodorsal artery the dorsal branches of the first three lumbar and ninth tenth and 11th posterior intercostal arteries and the actions performed by the latissimus dorsi muscle so this muscle performs the following functions shoulder retraction shoulder depression medial rotation of arm adduction of arm and extension of arm so this was about the latissimus dorsi muscle hope you like the tutorial thank you so much